pushing off and jump magnification. So let's talk about the part of a jump where the character is pushing off the ground. So that would be from uh, the crouch when they start to push upward, uh, gaining speed until they take off. So the first thing we consider is uh, how far does the character rise as they are pushing off the ground. So we measure this from the uh, estimated center of gravity and we call that the push height. Now, a related topic is how far does the character rise compared to how far they push? And that ratio uh, I'll call the jump magnification. So uh, it's the height of the jump divided by the distance that is pushed. Uh, in this uh, example that we see here, the character rises uh, four times the height uh, that they uh, push, and so uh, this um, ratio is four to one, so the jump magnification is uh, four. We're going to use this to uh, figure out the timing uh, for this uh, pushing off the ground. So the push time is how many frames does it take for the character to come out of the crouch up until they uh, their feet leave the ground. Well, the way to estimate this is to take the amount of time in the air and divide it by the jump magnification. And that tells you uh, how much time the character needs to spend uh, pushing up off the ground. Uh, clearly, if they jump really high, then they have to push really quickly uh, to gain uh, a lot of speed because they're pushing with a lot of uh, force. So here's um, a basic example of this. Let's say the character jumps a height of about 20 inches uh, from the uh, table. Uh, that's about uh, eight frames, uh, roughly. Now, if they were crouched to a push height of 10 inches, so they rise uh, 10 inches from crouch to takeoff. Uh, this is a jump magnification of two because it's 20 inches divided by 10 inches. So that's a jump magnification of two. And that tells us that the push time is half of the jump time because the push time is the jump time divided by the jump magnification. Now, uh, we can take all the pieces together and plan out a realistic jump. Uh, for example, you might have a desired time that you want the character to be in the air, or you might have a certain height that you want the character to reach. Uh, you would then use the table that uh, tells you the uh, jump height if you uh, pick the jump time or vice versa. Uh, then you decide um, what pose you want the character to be in uh, crouched and that would tell you the push height. Uh, from the jump height and the push height you have the jump magnification and then that would tell you the push time. Uh, let's work through an example of that. So uh, first step would be to pick how high you want the character to go up. Let's say you want them to rise uh, to a jump height of uh, four feet. Uh, then from the table, it tells you that um, it takes 12 frames to uh, from takeoff to apex to reach a height of uh, four feet. So that means the jump time is going to be 12 frames. Well, the next thing is you pick the uh, what the pose is going to look like in the crouch and the pose in the takeoff. Uh, from those two, uh, you get the push height. Uh, in this case, I uh, have poses that this push height is going to be uh, one foot. Well, if the push height is one foot and the jump height is four feet, then uh, the ratio of those two is uh, four to one. So the jump magnification is four. And then finally, uh, since we said that the time in the air, the jump time was 12 frames and the jump magnification is four, 
that means the push time is uh, three frames. Now, let's look at a little jump from uh, Madagascar 3. So we see Marty here dancing and jumping around. It's an iconic scene from the movie. Let's see him jump one more time. So. Now, if we um, look at this, it looks like the uh, push height and the jump height are about the same. Since they're about the same, the jump magnification is 1, and the time in the air for Marty is uh, only 3 frames, so that's the jump time of 3 frames, and that means with a jump magnification of 1, the push time should be uh, 3 frames. Now, if we consider this a little bit more closely, we realize that uh, this uh, height that Marty jumps to um, realistically should be more like five or six frames. So the uh, animators actually sped things up a bit just to make the action snappier. Now, given that they chose to have a quicker uh, jump time of three frames because they wanted to keep the jump magnification uh, correct, uh, then they want to speed up the push time and uh, also make it uh, three frames. So the point here is to have consistent timing for the push, if you are adjusting the jump time and reducing it to make the action uh, snappy, which is uh, commonly done, then you want to um, reduce the push time by the same fraction, uh, keeping the, um, keep the jump magnification in mind. So, in uh, summary, uh, the push height is the distance the center of gravity rises from crouch to takeoff. The jump magnification is the jump height divided by the push height. The push time from crouch to takeoff is the jump time divided by the jump magnification. And you can use all these elements to plan out the timing for a realistic jump. And uh, if you decide to uh, reduce the jump time just to make the action uh, somewhat snappier, then you want to adjust the push time as well. Now, when you first see this, I'm sure this seems a little complicated, but if you uh, work through an example yourself and just do it uh, step by step, I think you'll see it's, it's actually pretty straightforward. And if you find that you have a jump that doesn't seem to be working for you, Maybe uh, estimate these different um, push height, uh, uh, jump heights, push time, jump times, and, and see if uh, this planning can help you um, adjust what seems to be off uh, with your jumps.